All right. Time for some solo gathering. And I made enough premium for... Uh, <laughs> I made enough money to actually afford premium by killing just a million people in the duo mists. So... I will not have any learn point issues. A silver premium. You bought 30 days of premium. Alright. So now I'm poor again. Kind of. But now I should also be able to claim the adventurer's chest. And I should be able to claim the conqueror's chest. So I'll get at least a little bit of money back. Let's see what I get. A little bit of money. Oh, can already take all those silver bags. Oh, let me actually create another loot. <coughs> Bank. Loot 2. 160k. That's not too terribly expensive so i can put all this stuff away boom boom and this is worth nothing all right so let's look at the gathering professions i had enough for tier 4 queria let's take that and i kind of also want to get tier 4 fiber because when i'll walk through the black zone into the forest stuff i may find some 4.2 4.3 i want to take that with me and also if i go into the mists or into the roads i also want to be able to gather tier 4 resources already even though i'm going to focus on wood first so let's actually just quickly go to thetford with the tier 3 sickle and quickly gather tons of tier 3 and tier 2 fiber to reach level 4 fiber gathering uh do i want to take some kind of gear with me yeah sure why not doesn't really matter all right and do i have some pork pie do i have some goose pie i think 30 minutes should be enough gathering just garbage stuff and quickly reaching level 4 for fiber and then i'll probably check out the mists first just to see how good it is to um gather tier 4 resources in there but first let's go to let's go to dusk light Fen, I guess. There are so few tier 4 maps. There's Fog Fen. I'll go Dust Light Fen. And maybe I'll go deeper. Will depend on how much garbage fiber I'm going to find. If I find a good spot, I can just constantly gather tier 2 and tier 3. And just very quickly reach tier 4. Mm, do I want to take other resources right now, right here as well? Maybe? Not sure. So, so I could, for example, gather the hide. I'm definitely not going to gather tier 3 resources for all those professions. Of which I already <coughs> have unlocked tier 4. Simply because when gathering tier 4 resources, you simultaneously level up tier 4 and whatever you haven't unlocked yet, which would be tier 5 
gathering in general for me. Let's open this up because I kind of want to see. So I just want tons of fiber. <clears throat> so I probably should go to the lake, I suppose. I'll just quickly go to the lake. I also already have my necessary W unlocked. Oh, tier 4. I think I can also gather tier 4 fiber. Shouldn't be insanely slow. Yeah, this, ta this time spent is fine. Oh, I, he dealt more damage than me. But I guess he has a curse. Rough for me to deal more damage. Four percent. Five percent. Not much to go. And then I'll finally go into the deadly zones. Mm hmm. But yeah, I think I'll start with going into the mist. I've never gathered tier 4 resources in the mist. So I basically have no idea how good that's going to be. I mean, I went into the tier 8 swamp. In the black zone just one hour ago or so and it was pretty safe i would very much believe that if i run around with a giant stack and a foot sterling cape that nothing bad could happen to me i don't know how dangerous the black zone is right now one thing that's a little bit annoying is that uh all the all the gear that I'm going to use is somewhat expensive. Like a giant stack is, or at least was, I bought one yesterday, uh, worth 200k. The blood ladder should be pretty cheap now already. Shouldn't be too crazy right now anymore. Considering that I kind of want to only go back when I have like 500k loot maybe even though i don't know <laughs> if, I'll able, if i will be able to reach such amounts of loot with just tier 4 resources may it may not be possible i don't know like considering that i will have limited carry weight with a giant stack and most likely only a 4.1 bag maybe i'll Maybe I'll use a tier 6 bag. I mean, I'm kind of expensive anyways. So why not just use an expensive bag? It shouldn't be too expensive. Like the 4.1 bags should be around 10k right now. At least that's how expensive they were one day ago. Maybe they are already cheaper now. Maybe... So... I would guess a tier 6 bag, like 4.2, 5.1, 6.0 would be worth maybe 30k? I will see. I will see. I'll... I'm pretty sure I will take a tier 6 bag quite the upgrade should be like 30 40 kilogram more but that aside I think that the gathering in the mists would be really safe I'm thinking about maybe going I was thinking about going into the solo mists, but to be honest, I don't really think there is any 
legitimate reason for doing so. I probably should just be going for the duo mists, like always. Less competition and less danger and probably less people who will chase me. If I use a giant stack, there should be quite a lot of people who will be interested in killing me. A giant stack is quite expensive right now. So I think it's going to be the best idea to just go into the dual mists where I will just go for cleanse on the helmet, Fort Sterling Cape, and then I should be safe using tier 4 wood cutting gear. Should be totally fine. So there's some tier 4 high. Do I want to take that right now? Probably not. Probably not. I just quickly focus on getting my tier 4 fiber gathering. I mean, sure, if I find some enchanted stuff. I will probably even take 4.1 resources right now, right here. Because in the end, I want to level up everything. And 4.1 resources are probably not even that terrible right now. I mean, they're not going to make me insanely rich, but it's going to be some decent uh, fame. And for now, it's almost more important to get a lot of gathering fame quickly. Because when I was in this tier 8 swarm, I've seen an 8.1 wood stack just standing there. Nobody gathering it. Seeing so many tier 8 resources. Seeing tons of enchanted resources like 7.2, 6.2. All pretty damn valuable right now. So if anybody had tier 8 gathering skills already, which probably some already do, uh, going around the tier 8 maps and stuff, just with the gallant horse, should be actually worthwhile. Because on the NA server, running around with the gallant horse compared to just gathering tier 6 resources, masses of tier 6 resources, was totally not worth it. Wait a second, I wanted to go for the lake. And now I'm here in the south. Uh, but yeah, here at the water, there's quite a lot of fiber. 8% already. <clears throat> what did I start at? What it, was it 4%? I think it was 4%, so it's going up quite quickly. Wait a second, that's 4.1. Let's actually take that. Yeah, got my axe with me, got my knife with me. Let's take that. Getting getting fiber up if my plan is to go into the... No, he's taking it. But he's getting attacked by a mob. Yes, he is. So maybe I can take it. Never mind. He's gathering it so quickly <laughs> that getting attacked by a mob is actually not a problem for him. Tier 6 already. Yeah, settled wild boar. Very soon I'm going to use one myself as well. 1.35 million right now. Okay. Oh, I accidentally gathered some tier 4 height. Not a problem in any way, but was, wasn't my plan. Sometimes... It's going weird ways. I'm pretty much constantly finding fiber right now. I would assume I don't need to go into another map, right? So I could go to Fog Fan. But I think I'm finding enough fiber. 9% already. 11 to go. So now I have 506 low end points. I kinda would like to get all the professions up to tier 5, actually. 
that's going to take so long and I kind of want to start making money the earlier I reach tier 6 on any of those resources the earlier I will actually make money because right now tier 5 resources uh, are decently valuable and tier 6 resources are pretty good especially if you sell them in towns where they are not natural like for example wood in Fort Sterling gives about 2k per piece one tier 6 wood piece so that's pretty nice pretty good but of course I'm going to gather way less and way slower compared to the NA server where I'm level 100 for all the tier 6 resources and can use tier 8 gathering gear am I blind? how did I not see this hemp? how? but yeah let's check out this lake here if I'm hoping correctly I will find tons of fiber here and so far it's looking pretty good also doesn't hurt to have my random gear equipped just in case of finding like an enchanted mob and I can easily take that out 10% is this stuff worth anything? 128 per piece that's not terrible I mean I'm pretty sure that it's selling for less in Thetford because it's so insanely easy to get it here but if I was gathering to 4 fiber in like I don't know Martlock or what's the other zone that it doesn't have any fiber Martlock and Limhurst Limhurst yeah if I was gathering this in those towns or rather around those towns I would probably get a little bit more than what the estimated market value is while in Thetford I'll probably get I don't know maybe half of this price I would guess I mean I can try to remember checking it when I'll put this into no I have competition here uh, when I'll put it into the market here because uh, it's kind of interesting I would guess 50% of what it's showing because 128 silver for one piece would really not be that bad you're gonna get quite a lot of that very quickly like I'm finding tons of tier 4 fiber and if I had gathering gear of that sort and if I was tier 4, I would be gathering it very quickly. And I would get a nice little gathering bonus. Getting even more pieces per stack. 11%. It's just a matter of time. So I will definitely... While... Making this video right now still go into the mists after being done taking those low tier resources even though all right yeah when i go into the mists my plan is to take everything take all the tier 4 wood and better not really because i'm not planning to gather tier uh, tier, 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 tier 5 because it's going to be pretty slow and I want to level up rather efficiently mm. but like I'll take tier 4, 4.1, 4.2, 4.3 of wood and I will only take 4.1 and better of all the other resources 
to just benefit from having the possibility to level up somewhat quickly i would super think i would say whatever but i really want to focus on getting one profession up quite quickly but it may be very very smart to actually get all all of them up to tier 5 first just to benefit from finding 5.2 5.3 those resources will always be valuable like even on the na server it's pretty much always about worth it worth it to gather 5.2 and 5.3 except for stone 5.3 stone on the na server no that's actually not worth taking <laughs> if i think about it i actually haven't found a spot where there's just tons of tier 3 fiber sadly that would have been something i would have liked to see 13 percent already Somehow I'm not finding a spot with tons of tier 3 fiber. In the best case, just tons of tier 3 resource mobs, but... Well, not but. They should respawn quite quickly. There's tons of tier 4 fiber. <coughs> I think I would prefer gathering tier 3 fiber, but it should be worth it to take that. Got a lot of competition here though. Lots of competition. And this stupid lizard begging me to kill it. So many people. Come on, why don't you kill the lizard? Be a nice guy. And help me gathering this stuff. Tier 3 respawning extremely rapidly. Good old low tier resources. 14% already. <laughs> this guy just running around randomly. Without his mount. Tier 3 resources respawning all day long, which is why they are worth nothing. Whoops. Whoops. Right. 488% carry weight. Usually I'm never using oxes or anything that's similar. Likewise, not really used to having this, having to deal with this problem. Sadly, those things are not really viable in the black zone. Because basically the only time that you die is when you get a weird gank. Where you get caught off guard. Or... And you get ganked by a huge group, and Oxus are simply way too slow to survive huge groups. Not gonna survive with an Ox against a real ganking group. People running around without mounts. That is not very efficient. How can you do that? Do you not value it your time? So much fiber. 15%. Very, very soon. I'm going to be free from the torture of the blue zone. The safety is killing me. It's really mentally straining together in the blue zone. <laughs> Not really. But it's of course not very exciting. Nothing really can happen. 
neither negative nor positive. Like, there's no way that I'm going to find anything amazing here. Pretty much. <clears throat> Even though sometimes, like, theoretically I can find some 4.3 stuff, I guess. That's a possibility, but I mean 4.3 is not really worth an insane amount. That's not really going to make anybody rich. Even though, like, old or ancient 4.3 resource mobs and the roads, those are quite nice. I mean, I kinda would be interested in going into the roads. Like, I mean, I'm pretty sure I'm going to do that very soon and just take... Maybe I should take an ox and just go with pretty cheap gear and then just search 30 minutes for some tier 4 area and hope that there will be uh, all tier 4 mobs just to power level. I could do that to get all the other things. <clears throat> oh my god, please don't. I have 16% already. Hopefully my tier 3 thing is not going to break before. But I believe there are repair stations. Maybe I'll just go there and then continue in Fogfen. If my sickle isn't able to handle all this low tier stuff. I was kind of surprised that I only had one <coughs> tier, tier, <coughs> tier 3 sickle. I'm pretty sure for all the other professions I bought uh, two, just so this could not happen. But it's not going to be the end of the world. I'll survive. There's an amazing treasure. A hidden treasure. Oh, look at that. Enchanted resources. Are they valuable? Not really. At least not 4.1. But who knows for how much that's going to sell in Fort Sterling. Because this resource is not natural there. It's not natural. Likewise, 70%. I, I think my sickle is going to 13%. This is going to be close. This will be pretty close. Let's see. I don't know if uh, the durability goes down faster or slower with higher or lower tier resources. I have no idea. If I had, I could pay attention to that and either not take the high tier stuff or your journeyman sickle is broken. Do I just teleport or do I? Yeah, I'll teleport. I'll teleport. There's no way. I want to walk this whole way just for repairing my stuff and then I'll just go again like I'm still in the adjacent map I'm still in the start map basically let's do it this way repair everything I don't think I need to take another goose pie repair all could already sell the stuff but I'm at 34% Carry weight. I'm going to sell everything anyways. Uh, when I'm done. Likewise, no reason to do that now. Is a tier 3 map better? Probably, right? For leveling up quickly? Will there be more stuff? Are there tier 3 resource mobs? I don't know about that. I do see that there's water down here. 
But I would assume that there's a little bit more tier 3 and tier 2 stuff in here than in the tier 4 map, but I'm not sure. And I'm also not sure if that's even better in any way, like gathering tier 4 resources on level 3 didn't really seem to be too terrible, to be honest. But this is going to be really quick. It's going to be fine. Cotton. Even here I got competition. Is it your five? Harvester already? Maybe he's leveling all the other stuff right now. Could imagine that being the case. And I'm pretty sure if he takes cotton then he took flex as well, but this stuff is respawning so extremely quickly. 18% already. I'm so close to actually going into the mists. <clears throat> I do not have a cape, huh? Well, I don't really need a cape for this. 18%. So close. To actually, to actually leaving this terror. I have no idea if this is faster now than what I did in the tier 4 blue zone. I don't know. Ah oh yeah, this guy. Tier 5 is definitely going to gather those resources faster than the mob can interrupt him. Until I reach that point with tier 6 resources again, it's going to take a lot of time. To be honest. Because on the NA server I was able to gather tier 6 resources while resource mobs were attacking me. This is kind of looking like water. Why is there no fiber? <coughs> is this a PvE area or something? Why is <laughs> there are no resources here? God damn it. Scammed. Player name? That's actually a pretty good name. I like it. And he's killing this beautiful swamp spirit, which I would have preferred to kill. But I don't think it's going to be a big problem. But now I cannot gather this stuff. 19%. I'm getting closer and closer. Obviously. He's just killing everything. Doesn't know any mercy. Brutal. 19%. Where is what I need? Here it is. Yeah, I'm going to need a little bit more. It's really not giving much fame. But there's quite a lot of fiber lying around everywhere. It's not like g gathering this stuff takes a long time. So close. Almost there. Just a matter of hours. <laughs> Giant stack, what sterling cape, wood gathering gear, blood ladder, probably mist caller, because it's just way better than a torch. Probably goose pie, because pork pie is too expensive for now. Tier 6 back. Definitely going to start in the black zone. I will not start from Brazilian just because I would believe that the resources will have terrible prices compared to Fort Sterling. In that case, it's going to be quite annoying to 
find a duo miss. So I'll just take any miss that I find. I'll gather in solo miss as well. Alright, let's sell this stuff. Let's get this fiber thing up to tier 1. Up to level 1. Alright, everything unlocked now. Let's sell this stuff. Uh, yeah, whatever. I, well, I will keep this stuff. <laughs> uh, I was thinking about how expensive will the tier 4 fiber be here. So 75, yeah. <clears throat> Estimated market value 128 and it only sells for 75. Much worse than probably in all the other cities because it's so easy to gather the stuff here all right teleporting to fort sterling uh fort sterling portal got everything on tier four now the next step is going to be to reach tier five wood gathering which is going to take even longer than reaching all the tier 4 levels. But what can you do? Maybe even, maybe not. Like if I find a lot of enchanted resources, which I will definitely not do in the mists. The mists are pretty terrible for that. There's basically no enchanted stuff, pretty much. Do I want to take multiple tools? Probably not. I'm, I don't have that much carry weight anyways. So what's... Still missing a pickaxe. I have so many tools because I killed so many people. Uh, I want pie. I'm pretty sure two will be enough. Because carry weight. I'm pretty sure I want the journals. Yeah. And I want the mist caller. I want the Fort Sterling cape. Do I want anything else? I want the visibility potions actually. I wonder how expensive those are. Do I have a tier 6 bag in my bank by any chance? I don't. I do not, I do not. Let's see how expensive such a tier 6 bag is right now. 75, 75, 79. Ah. Uh, I mean, I'm basically not going to die, but, but, yeah, let's just take a tier 6 one. I'm super expensive anyways, who cares? So, 4.2 or 5.1? 4.2 it is. Outstanding, same price, excellent. Way more expensive. Let's go outstanding. Mist caller. Should be quite expensive as well. 4.1. 4.1. Uh, so. The dash on the W. Interestingly, the ability actually is called that. So now I want gathering gear. Lumberjack, lumberjack. Alright, pretty pretty cheap. Lumberjack cap. Lumberjack boots. And I think I'm just going to use a sprint. This would be a channel. Can move while channeling, blah blah blah. 80% movement speed. 80% movement speed, 5 seconds. 8 seconds. Um, yeah, I'll just go with a sprint. I'll go with... Kinda depends. If I go into the solo miss, I want block. If I go into the uh, dual miss, I want cleanse. So invisibility, just normal escape stuff. Bot, Sterling Cape. Accessories. 91k, not that insanely expensive. So, invisibility potions. 
100. <laughs> okay. Okay. Resistance it is. Or actually... If I if I have block, I don't want Gigantify. If I have plants, I want Gigantify. Let's go with Gigantify. Tier 5. Let's take 2. Stay on. Usually I will probably not need that stuff anyways, I would say. Uh, I want the other journals as well. Um, product. Journals. Tier 4. Um, what am I missing? I do have Stonecutter, I have Gamekeeper, I have Lumberjack, I need Prospector. Uh, looks pretty bad. Yeah, it's Fort Sterling. So, let's forget about Prospector. And I want... What's the other one? Harvester? Is there no such thing as... <coughs> Should be Harvester, right? Is it Harvester? Okay, let me let me just quickly Google this kind of stuff. Um, Albion Online Journal Wiki. Let's see what is. Gamekeeper Cropper. What are those names? Why why do those names have to be so complicated? But it looks like I cannot really buy any that are not full. There are too many people filling these, so let's just go without. Anyhow, this is possible to enter. Uh, where do I want to look for things? Yeah, there are two ways to enter the town. That's not bad. All right, let's look for a wisp. I could also be going from Kaleon. But once again, prices for resources there should be worse. 4.2 or I kind of want to gather that. <laughs> let's take a look. What could possibly be go wrong? There's a... There's a duo mist. Okay, the thing is gone. So let's take the duo mist. And in this case, I can go for cleanse. And in this case... Um, in this case, in this case, it's actually good that I have gigantifying potions. Instead of resistance potions. Alright. Okay, okay, okay. Tier 4 resources. Where are you? This is tier 4. So I only wanted... Well, actually... I think I'll take... I think I'm going... I'm going to take skin. I'm going to take hide. Because these things can drop babies. And Curse Hide should simply be more expensive. And Curse Hide is not natural in in Fort Sterling. Should be good. Let's take Hide. Wait a second, this is tier 4, right? Iron Elemental, yeah. So I want to actually kill both of those. Nice. So this is a duo miss, so I kinda wanna be careful. Gathering resources that I'm not dual leveling with is probably kind of sad, but this resource should be somewhat valuable in Fort Sterling. I mean 608 per piece, 45 resources. Oh, I wanna eat pie. Oh, I actually didn't want to gather 4.0 resources of the other professions. I want to focus on tier 4 wood, I think. Maybe I shouldn't. Why did this guy dismount? Stop it. I 
I want the 4.1 fiber there. Let's take those tigers. Let's take those. They are going to be good for me. I mean, I actually am not sure if those babies are even worth much money anymore. I think we killed somebody today who had a baby. And it was only worth like 50k or something, but I don't know. Who knows? Maybe just a million people are in the rich watch yellow zones and are killing all those tigers all day long. Very, very possible. Okay, so where the hell is wood? I want tier 4 wood. Where is it? Where is it? Somebody is gathering tier 6 resources in here, it seems like. Finding a lot of... Tigers. Or panthers or cougars or whatever. Kinda would make... S well, it would not make sense because like the the low price of those babies because swift claws are very expensive right now so the babies should be pretty expensive as well i don't know maybe somebody is buying those babies for a low price from everyone and likewise, keeping the price low. Wood, tier 4 wood. Finally gathering the thing that I was planning to gather. I mean, in the black zone, it's going to be much easier to focus on doing this, I would suppose. Because there's simply going to be way more of that. Tier 4... I definitely do not have the learn points to spend those on increasing my tier 4 professions. I will focus all my learn points on actually reaching those higher tiers. Mm, doing this may not be very efficient, but here's a tree. Wait a second, is there a gathering a gathering area here? In the middle of this thing should be a gathering area. I would like to find a wood gathering area. But I do not remember how they look. I don't at all. No idea. No idea what kind of area is in the middle here. I don't want to get that tier 5 wood. It's going to be so slow. And I'm not going to get additional levels. Maybe I should be gathering all the tier 4 resources while I'm in here. Tier 5 tiger. Those things will have quite a good price. Fort Sterling. I'll, I'll be. Uh, I am pretty interested in actually seeing how much money tier 5 hide will get me in Fort Sterling. We'll see. Oh. Three cougars and no baby yet. I've only seen one person so far in here. Uh, I'm on cleanse and sprint. So this is a stone area, okay. Noted. Even though I'm not 100% sure if uh, that's fixed. If that's always going to be the case. Oh. Should I be gathering all the tier 4 resources in here? Maybe I should. Maybe. I mean, stone is definitely not going to give money. 
Do I want to go into another wisp just hoping to find a wood gathering area? Maybe. Maybe. So there is a gathering area up there, but I don't think that is wood. I'm pretty sure that's going to be like stone or something. But it's like whatever. Let's just take that. I probably should be gathering all the tier 4 resources in here. Another gatherer. In the Drew Mists. Let's just take all the tier 4 resources while I'm here. When I'm in the black zone, I think I will go do it differently. But here there's simply nothing for me to gather. I need to gather something. I don't want to be running around the whole time. And there are definitely not very many enchanted resources in the mists. It's definitely not going to give me any money taking travertine. For example, this stuff is so worthless. But it's kind of fine for leveling up. But maybe I wanna... Uh, not do that now. And wait for this kind of stuff for the roads. Even though I'm not 100% sure how early I'm, I'm going to go into the roads to be honest. But probably very soon, I would suppose. Probably quite soon. Because I kind of want to power level those things up to tier 5 at least. Should be quite good even though reaching tier 6 would be great. What is that? That's tier 5. I'm going to take that. All those tier 6 tigers in here would be amazing. If I was tier 6. In skinning. No baby yet. And still quite interested in seeing what kind of area this is going to be. But I think I'm close enough to actually see. And it's probably going to be ore and stone. But there could also be wood I believe but let's just search for gathering areas in the mists oh 5.2 that's too high for me but I do see some beautiful your four stuff exactly what I'm looking for I'm definitely interested. Oh, wait a second. There's a coffer. I want it. Very badly. It's only green. But it's okay. I don't care if it's green as long as there's some 8.3 item in there waiting for me. I don't care then. Now there are the beautiful. Whoops. Tier 6 animals, and I'm not able to gather those. But some went soon. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. I don't care if it is green. Just just give me the 7.1 weapon. <laughs> I don't care if it's green. I don't mind at all. Just give me those beautiful... Beautiful 7.1 pole hammer. I don't need. Uh, the purple chest. Just, just give me that. Just give me the right item. I don't care about the rest. I could look at the chest to be honest. It's a doomist so I pretty much don't really want to do that. But kind of. I also kind of want to because it's funny and my stuff is pretty good at escaping and I have never been ganked by invisibility gankers at the chest so but I think I'm too slow I believe I'm too slow I don't think I can reach that in time 
Let's take a look. This guy is quite useless. Let's take a look at the chests. I'm pretty sure that I'm not going to get it, but imagine me getting it. Imagine. Just imagine. The endless possibilities. There's a tree, there's a wisp. I'll go, I'll come back there. There's a person and there's another person. A permafrost, okay, what the hell. I would not recommend using that in this place at this time. Would not recommend. So let's just go in there and see if I can find a wood gathering area. Let's see. How expensive am I? How much did I pay to get this stuff? I mean, I didn't pay for the giant stack. I still had one lying around. There's no gathering area at all in here. Uh, what now? I want a gathering area. There's a tier 2 mob. I'm super weak. I'm not going to fight that. I'm extremely weak. I don't have levels on anything at all. And I'm using super low tier, like 4.0 stuff. I'm extremely weak. Zero IP, zero stats. I don't think I would be able to kill this thing. Maybe I would. It's a really easy one, but maybe I'll just die to its standard attacks. Another mob. Another really easy one. Maybe I should try... No, not really, because I only have like two items equipped right now that would actually benefit from me killing those things. And the chances for them actually drop a book up really pretty damn low. So, let's just not even try. No point in any way. A tier 3 mob would theoretically be worth it, but I'm very sure that with this gear I'm not going to be able to kill a tier 3 mob. A mob with a circle that has spikes and gives like 200k up to 1 million fame. Pretty damn sure. That I'm not able to kill those with this gear. So where are all those juicy tier 4 resources hiding? Where are they? Why am I not find, finding any 6.2? I mean, of course, this is a mist, so there's only going to be one piece on that stack. But still, kind of beautiful. Kind of beautiful. One percent, one percent. Slowly but surely, I'm not really getting anything done. Tier four, I want to take that probably, since there's basically nothing in the mist to do anyways. So I'll just take everything on tier four right now. And as I said, in the black zone, I'll just take 4.1 and all the tier 4 wood. But this doesn't really feel very worthwhile. Even though finding this uh, Grandmaster pull hammer made this run pretty profitable. Gathering is so good. <laughs> just just uh, find green coffers and be lucky. Just that easy. Just that easy. Learning point, adept ore miner, wow. Not going to spend learn points on that. My money in the future is most likely going to come from 
tier 6 resources. Mainly. Probably, maybe, who knows. Because, in theory, I can also get lucky and find some enchanted tier 7 resources or enchanted tier 8 resources somewhere, somehow. Maybe I will find uh, some good high tier aspects in the road somewhere and somehow while running around with groups in the roads. It's all possible and then I'll be ready. Wait a second. So there was no gathering area in this map likewise. Let's check another one. 5.1 fiber down there. Cannot gather it sadly yet. Is there a gathering area? There... I think this is PvE. I'm not 100% sure this thing here in the south. Let's take a look. It should be... There's a lot of tier 4 wood here. Interesting. Lucky place, I guess. But only 2 out of 6, which is kind of sad. Uh, I'm not 100% sure... Is this PvE or is this PvP? Not really PvP, uh, PvE or Gathering. Let's just look at it. We'll see. Was just thinking about how do the tier 4 animals look in here. But it's this weird deer, I guess. Oh, and killing that... Probably also has a chance to give me those giant stack things, right? Those giant stack babies. I would believe. Okay, so very soon. Why am I not finding 4.x? Only 4.0. Anyhow. Is this... This is PvE. So I guess I'll just go to the east and see if I find another common treasure coffer and get even richer. 4.1, yes! Finally! <clears throat> Actually got so dark. So then I should probably use some light. Anyhow, there's a wisp. Do I want to risk my life? Do I want to risk everything? And a duo mist. For this turbulent mist. Probably, because why not? going to give me more money set logs there's very little tier 4 stuff in the mists this is very little there's another wisp which is nice maybe I'll use that sadly I'm not finding any gathering areas this guy is probably not going to let me take that so I'll take the wisp. This place here is also not very interesting. Okay. Let's go deeper one more time. And then I think I'm done with the mists. Like if I was gathering tier 5 resources, I probably would be fine. In here. Somewhat, like not really, because Black Sun is always just better. So this thing in the north is once again PvE, right? Oh, wood. <coughs> this should be PvE. Learning point adept lumberjack, that's just the tier 4 thing. I'm looking for learning point threshold reached. Master? Is it Master? What what is tier 5? What's the name for tier 5? Because Adept is like the name for tier 4. 
Expert ist Tier 5, right? Tier 5 ist Expert. No way for me to read that anywhere, I suppose. Oh my god, there's a person. Claws in the mist. Maybe he's trying to gang, perhaps? <clears throat> I would not recommend doing that with these items at this place. And this time. Maybe someone in the future. Who knows? Who knows? No babies. Mistcaller. I got so few levels right now. I mean, my my blazing staff and my hellspawn staff are not that terrible, of course. Because those are the only two weapons that I'm really using for stuff right now. Just to get money in the mists and to get fame in the roads. But besides that, I'm not really doing very much elsewhere. There is way too little tier 4 stuff in here. I'm going to go out. This is not very... Not looking very good. Let's quickly take those things. <laughs> I should be extremely... S well, I'm not that safe. I'm quite far away. So, let's skip this garbage. And quickly... Go back to town. Okay, so the mists... I mean... If I was here 5, it would probably be kind of okay. I would suppose. If I was here 6, it would... Totally be fine, I would say. But... Like... For leveling up, this really is not... Senseful in any way, I would say. So, next... We want to go into the roads next time, just to power level. Maybe I want to do that. But do I want to do this with this gear? Probably not. I probably need a nature staff. Do I need that? How strong are all your four mobs? Do I need different gear? Maybe, maybe I should level up so I could, so I would be able to use some nature stuff. So I would be able to kill those pretty damn weak old tier four and tier five mobs, which I was very, very easily able to do on the NA server, but I may not be able to do that here. Because on the NA server, even with gathering gear, I, I would have tier 8 gathering gear. 500 IP more, so I would be way tankier. And maybe blood ladder would be a tier 6 blood ladder with like level 100, so I would have like 400, 500 IP more. Hmm. We'll see. Maybe I'll go into the mists, uh, into the roads, maybe I'll go into the black zone. We'll see, we'll see. But it was a good run, like half an hour and I got one item, so <laughs> pretty, pretty good.